Hey everyone, Crystal Beast here, and in today's video we'll be doing a quick run through of the 7th Armor Reforger dev block. There is no new update this week, and the dev block is earlier due to a public holiday in the Czech Republic. So let's just get right into covering the block. To start off, they talked about the increased capacity of the Xbox servers to 32 players. They will be monitoring these servers and player feedback regarding them before making any further adjustments. So be sure to let them know if you encounter any performance or network issues while playing. So they got into some of the improvements they are planning for the near future. Um, they have improved spawning on radio operators in an attempt to fix the issues where players would clip into each other. They are going to change the way building is done in conflict now when building compositions. AI won't block selected locations and instead will move away and allow construction to be finished. They changed visual elements on the screen related to direct voice and radio communication. It's going to have some new icons, take up less space, and it's going to be more consistent with the rest of the game's HUD. Next update, there is also going to be some more AI fixes. Um, they're going to remove the constant rotation and investigative behaviors that really make them seem extremely unnatural. Um, regarding investigative behaviors, they're going to be slightly improved. And there's also going to be a removal of instances where AI tried to climb on top of buildings or locked onto aiming in specific spots. So in all in all, next update, we're going to see a general AI improvement. Regarding servers, they will be adding a notification for when a server has a regular shutdown, so you know if it's a crash or if it's just server maintenance. Next up, they intend on adding a method to run servers with mission rotation, allowing servers to be able to provide multiple mission headers in a service config, basically meaning it will be possible to rotate between different uh, missions and objectives. They're still working on the save and well, loading issues that are happening, and after a few attempts, they found that it's still really not working. They may have found the problem, and they're working on delivering a fix for the future update, but at the current moment, it kind of seems like we may be a little far out. Regarding capture and hold, they're going to be disabling third-person camera to hopefully make the mode more fair. Uh, While well, on the topic of capture and hold, I have started a Discord for people who want to play this mode, and if that interests you, please check the description below to join. To conclude, they added a minor bug with uh, update 0 0.9.5.9, which made it if you spawned in a ton of compositions in Game Master, then the server would crash during autosave. To fix this, there is a small mod, Disable GM Autosave, in the workshop that will act as a temporary workaround that should fix the problem in at least official servers. Um, this mod will install automatically if you do join any official GM servers. Um, that really is all I got for you guys this week. I hope the devs have a good holiday, and hopefully next week's update is solid. But until then, this has been Crystal Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.